John Carlo, yes, this is a wonderful little place in the country here. It's You've never a, been here before. No, what, I'm once, so disappointed. Once before. Once um, before? Yeah, but this is my first time for some time. And uh, I'd quite forgotten what a wonderful garden you have at the back there. Yeah, no, but we didn't have the garden at that when you came. It wasn't sorted out the way it is now, so... Uh, how many can you see outside there? About 50, 46. And the restaurant itself? Uh, another 50 to 60, depends. Yeah, fantastic. It really is. Yeah, a... if the weather was nice, we could do 100 customers in the evening. It would be fantastic, but, it's, yeah. you know, you, you put the table out and then run in to put the table in again. Sure. Yes, it's one of those awful things, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone wants to eat outside. Yeah, but it doesn't work. No. But it's, I have to say it's wonderful. And the grill out there, what do you use that for? Well, we do some barbecue sometimes, and okay. also we used to roast, and we do some in the winter, we roast a succulent pig. Right. Uh, because it's, um, it's a bit of a clay oven, yeah. so it's different than the, uh, than the gas, so it, it roasts differently, really. It's not easy, but, but it's brilliant as a taste. It's very really fabulous. It's worth doing. Yeah, it, it is, yeah. yeah. But it's labour intensive. Yeah. So, I, I, I know you're busy during the week, but presumably a Sunday lunch is a, a hot spot here. Yes, no, we, we've been doing very well lately, actually. We're full up most of, most of Sundays, uh, full up Saturday, Friday, Thursday. Fantastic. Oh, it's fine, actually. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not disappointed. That's good. Quite authentic. But the RC, we are genuine and authentic really uh, really, really. So, there's a difference you know the difference on restaurant which they say we do this we do that we, we don't twist things the recipe is what it is been for hundreds of years why do you want to twist it tell me about your uh, your recipes because uh, we'll talk about your book at some stage yes but the menu itself well the menu really uh, uh, quite frankly is all the recipe that um, we have in our, in our books really I mean, Fiori di Zucca, Ripieni, you know, it's an Amalfi book. Uh, Asparagi with, with uh, duck egg in camicia is, we, you go to Italy, you find them anywhere. You got the calamari della Livornese, which has been one of the signature dishes for, since we opened, mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, on the pasta, you got the fettuccine with, 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 with um, a crab, but really fresh crab. As you see in the kitchen, fresh, we clean it, do it. Pappardelle ragù d'anatra, I mean, that's, that's it's Tuscan, you know, duck ragù. If it's done properly, it's mm. Okay, sta qui pronto, dai. Mi vedi, chef? Yeah? Yes, Roy, talk oh, to me. Carl, I know we're in the middle of service. Yes. You've just had 40 people here yes. for a pasta course, yes. uh, which you're famous for. Yes, the fettuccine, this is handmade, still too thick, this is too thick. This one is perfect, you see? There's a difference. There's a difference when you touch the texture. Uh -huh. See, this and this. Can you see? Thickness. Well, totally different. This will be so thick that when you eat it, it's oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. not very nice. And then obviously we do some special dishes on the day, on the week when we get some special, uh, you know, if, uh, the, say, the, say if they go partridges, we get partridges, we go pheasant. You see what I mean? So we do the... Yeah, the food in the season. Yes, but, you know, we'd also do something like, you know, like now you do a nice, lovely salad, which is very summery, you know, we use the melon with the, with the ham and, you know, just... I know it's simple, but you choose the melon, the right one, so it's nice and sweet. So simple is important for you? Uh, always has been, really. I don't think you need to... The, but uh, the, there's a fundamental problem with simple, Roy, and then you, all, you know more than I do, actually. Um, the simple is so hard to produce, so hard to produce, really. And that's what upsets me, because simple, perfect, mm, you struggle. Sure. Well, you seem to do very well with it, yeah? You've got uh, you've gained yourself a very handsome reputation. Thank you, it's very kind. Thank whilst, you. We, whilst we're on the menu, talk to me about the wines, because you've got some fascinating wines on the list. Well, the, the wines, actually, I've got, you will not believe, actually, we, we've got two wines. One is a Chardonnay, and one is a Barbaresco, which has our own label, actually, which is over there. And uh, the reason is I went to Chiarlo, you know, Michele Chiarlo, the, the winemaker, they had these two wines which they were laying on the side, but not being sold, but not be, they didn't want to sell it because the production was very small. Okay. And so I bought the whole lot for lots of money. And um, I'm selling the restaurant now, but it's, the Chardonnay is so brilliant. It's not the usual Chardonnay that you will say to yourself. It's absolutely fabulous, really. And the Barbaresco, nobody has it in the entire world, that wine, just me. 
So at the moment I'm lucky to have two fabulous wines. If people understand it, the Chardonnay is totally sublime. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the flavor is like if you would have um, sort on the burgundy side, white burgundy, but really, you know, that finished, beautiful, nice, round, not um, like soury bits. Mm -hmm. And then you know, I've, got, I've got the Solai, I've got the Tignanello, I've got all the, uh, you know, all the other wines that Italy offers. Mm -hmm. So we, we, as, as a restaurant, I think we are quite complete. We do a, a very good food and um, uh, we, we accompany by some very excellent wine and some very wine, which is a really, you know, I'm not say drinkable. Drinkable is fine, but with the um, price range, sure. it's fair enough for the customer. So to enjoy a good glass of wine with, uh, with an excellent meal, really. Just tell me a little bit about the cookery school. Well, the cookery school, we do some uh, school here, as, as you can see. Uh, you came this morning, that's we got uh, all these people. Um, we do cookery classes here, which they do extremely well. I'm always full up, actually. Which is, I'm so glad. I'm so wow, wow. And that brings customers to the to the to, to, to the restaurant. Brings more friendship. It 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 works. It works very well.